can remain anonymous. And I'm just thankful that I'm alive. And you know the thing that bothers me more than anything is a damage to Burger King. <laughs> Award man remembering the scary moments of when this happened. His truck burst into flame. A lot of people have seen this video. It all happened at a fast food drive through in BB. He actually spoke exclusively to Fox 16's Rochelle Turner. And Rochelle, things could have been a lot worse. We're happy he's alive tonight. Hillary, good evening to you. Ron Daniel got out of the hospital last night. He says he's not in a lot of pain, but he's very uncomfortable and taking lots of medicine. Daniel says his truck can be replaced, and he's thankful no one else got hurt, but he's upset Burger King sustained damage. Warning, the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some. I've got little blisters on me with different places. Ron Daniel sits in a chair covered in first degree burns. And I got blisters under my eyes. It's got pus water in them. The 78 year old says everything went downhill after he made a stop in BB Friday. I picked up a bottle of propane and I was going to go buy Burger King and get me a couple of Whoppers. Waiting for his flame grilled burgers in a drive through Daniel starts hearing a hissing noise. I realized it was a propane tank leaking. He tried to check the shutoff valve. I stuck my hand in and touched it. it burst into flames. This video captured by a viewer just across the street. I just went and sat on the light over there. And before Daniel knew it, his truck exploded. I looked up and saw debris in the air, and I just took off running. Straight down, you got full air. BB police and fire put out the flames. Sorry I caused somebody some problem. And Daniel's red truck, a total loss. And that only means the transportation. Instead of getting his flame grilled burgers, and I didn't get them yet, but they sure charged me on my credit card. Well, now he has to wait. But I, I won't hold I won't hold Burger King to that. <laughs> uh, Ron says he's going to be seeing doctors in the next few days to make sure his burns heal correctly. His family started a GoFundMe page to help him get a new truck. You can find a link on the story on our website. It's fox16.com. Rochelle, you saw my reaction when I saw that explosion video. I'm sure he didn't know someone was filming that. What has he said about this video? Because it's been shared thousands of times. So Ron actually saw the video, and like you said, he didn't know that people were filming it, but he said the fire was actually going for several minutes and that's when it exploded. He said he had no idea it was going to explode and he says if he did, he would have moved out of the way a lot quicker. So that's why you were seeing him sitting on that lamp post because he just thought it was just gonna continue to burn, but that's it true. exploded, but he is, he's grateful and he's alive. Just some burns and cuts, but. He's in a positive a, mood. He was he very is. positive when he, he talked is. with you. So he's. we are happy he's alive and thankful that he shared his story with us. Thanks so much, Rochelle. Well, despite the clouds, it was a nice day outside, but could there be more rain? I hope not, but Chris